with the announcement of the new Morbius movie set to release April 1st, 2022, I thought to myself, there isn't many people who know about the character of Morbius. So that's exactly who we're going to talk about today, Michael Morbius, PhD in biochemistry. Let's take a look, shall we? Hello and welcome to another character overview. My name is Z. And if my accent in the intro was convincing, then go ahead and like this video. In this series, I cover the character's backstory, powers and abilities, and feats in hopes that you gain a better understanding of the character. If you'd like to see more character overviews, then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any. Michael Morbius was born and raised in Greece by his mother. His childhood was isolated due to him having a rare and unknown blood condition that was not only killing him, but also making his appearance quite unpleasant. Michael would eventually go off to college and become one of the world's foremost experts in biochemistry and blood related diseases. Michael Morbius and his childhood friend Emil Nikos will go on to research a cure using the blood of vampire bats, which earned them a Nobel Prize. With Michael's condition worsening, he uses his prize money to rush an experiment where he uses vampire bats DNA along with electroshock therapy in order to cure himself from a slow and imminent death. This experiment is ultimately what turned Michael Morbius into the living vampire. Morbius' first appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man issue number 101, published in 1971. In 1974, Morbius got his first solo story in Adventure into Fear issue number 20. Rise of the Midnight Suns, Morbius issue number one, was the first ongoing solo title for the character, published in 1992. 2007 saw Morbius return in Legion of Monsters Morbius, issue number one. Morbius the Living Vampire, issue number one, published in 2013, retold the origin of the character. And in 2019, Morbius issue number one was released and ran for five issues. Morbius possesses superhuman strength, speed, stamina, agility, reflexes, and also acute senses, being able to see in near total darkness, as well as see into the infrared end of the electromagnetic spectrum, allowing him to see individuals at night by their body heat. His sense of smell is also enhanced. He's able to detect scents of blood in the air from miles away. His healing factor allows him to rapidly regenerate damaged bodily tissues, healing most injuries within minutes. With that being said, he cannot regenerate limbs. He has fangs that he can use in close quarters, as well as retractable claws capable of tearing through flesh and bone. Through mental concentration, Morbius is able to glide through the air for a period of time. Morbius has the ability to hypnotize others if they look into his eyes long enough. While under his control, Morbius typically has full control over individuals, and if individual has sufficient willpower, they can resist and overcome it. He can create other living vampires like himself and have control over them. And while they do gain superhuman strength and speed, they do not get his healing factor. And when they die, their body turns to ash. Morbius is also virtually immortal, meaning he doesn't age. And while he possesses some vampiric like abilities, he does not have any of their supernatural weaknesses. So this includes crucifix, holy water, garlic, steaks, silver, and even sunlight. He also has genius level intellect, and although he hasn't had hand-to-hand -hand combat training, his powers make him formidable against most opponents. Morbius is fighting a young warrior, and as the young warrior gets the upper hand, Morbius is maddened and breaks the young warrior's sword with a stick. Morbius has been shown on numerous occasions to be able to break out of Spider-Man's webbing with little to no effort. Morbius was able to knock out Spider-Man by punching him in the shoulder blades. Morbius is fast enough to get past Spider-Man's spidey sense and sneak attack him. While in the crosshairs of a sniper, Morbius is fast enough to dodge the bullet and kill the sniper man. Morbius is fast enough to speed blitz several armed thugs before they could even react. 
Blade stabs Morbius through the heart with a knife, and this does nothing to slow Morbius down, and he just kicks Blade off of him like it didn't happen. Morbius has been riddled with bullets numerous times, and they do nothing to slow him down. He just gets back up and usually kills whoever it is who shot him. Here's a chart comparing Morbius to Spider-Man and Venom. These scores are based off of how Marvel views the characters and their scores out of seven. So for durability, Morbius scores a five, Spider-Man scores a three, and Venom has a four, making Morbius the more durable of the two, followed by Venom. For energy, Morbius has three, Spider-Man has one, and Venom has one. So the edge goes to Morbius as far as energy, and this is probably due to him having psionic gliding abilities and being able to hypnotize people by looking into their eyes. For fighting skills, Morbius scores a four, Spider-Man four, and Venom a two, making Morbius and Spider-Man's fighting skills equal. Intelligence, Morbius scores four, Spider-Man four, Venom scores two, making Morbius and Spider-Man also same as far as intelligence. For speed, Morbius scores a four, Spider-Man three, Venom three, making Morbius the faster of the two. For strength, all three characters score four, making them equal. And that's going to bring my video to a close. I appreciate you guys sticking around. If you did, be sure to leave a like on this video and comment down below how I did. This is the first time I've ever made a video like this, and it was very time consuming and quite difficult. So I'd appreciate that and subscribe to stay up to date for more. Thank you.